Namaste to Namaste. all our participants. Welcome to all our participants to this third session of day one. And since morning, we are looking at the proposals and exploring them for ourselves and getting more clarity within ourselves so that when we take these proposals in the classroom with our students, we are able to facilitate the whole process of verification for them too. So with this, let me start with the third session for the day. Till now, we have discussed up to lecture four as per the lecture plan of UHV2. And now we are at lecture five. Within the classrooms, with our own students, step by step, slowly, we are enabling them to look at these proposals more carefully. And the whole purpose of this discussion is to get more clarity within ourselves. Because when I am clear, I am able to explore for myself. With that clarity within me, I'm ready to facilitate the other. Without that clarity within me, probably I'll not be able to initiate that self-exploration within the other, my own students. So till now, since morning, we have been discussing and we want to continue that. So I hope all our participants are ready with our discussion. This is lecture five. And till lecture four, we looked at the transformation, the role of education. Now we are looking at happiness and prosperity. What we do understand till now and what it means as a reality. We have been looking at our own basic aspiration. Aspiration of each one of us. So let me put it as a simple question with whatever discussions we had till now, starting from the introductory workshop, when you first attended, are you able to see that each one of us aspires to have this continuity of happiness and prosperity? Are you able to see this for yourself? You can put your responses in the chat. Gee, very nice. So many are responding that yes, we all, aspire for continuity of happiness and prosperity. And in order to ensure this happiness within our lives, we keep making programs, one program to the other. Since our childhood, we can just see that we have been making so many programs so that we can ensure happiness for ourselves. And the kind of programs we make depends upon whatever we have understood or assumed about happiness. So till now, whatever program you have been making is based on whatever our own current level of understanding or assumption is. Are you able to see this for yourself? Can you think of any program which you make to make yourself unhappy? Gee, so many are mentioning that no, not exactly. We keep shifting from one program to the other when we see that one of the program goes unsuccessful, right? So we keep moving. I want to do this. Then I find that maybe I'm not able to ensure continuity of my happiness. I keep switching from one program to the other. Just like I keep switching between one hobby to the other. So within the day itself, we can see sometimes we will watch TV. Then we'll say, oh, let me get some tasty food. Let me engage in some other activity. So we are continuously shifting from one program to the other. But what do we want from all these programs? Are we getting a clarity about it? 
So let us take this reflection poll from you all. While you're putting your responses, let us hear from some of our participants. What is your way to ensure this happiness for yourself? Any one of our participants who would like to put forth his own perspective. G Minu, ma'am. Minu Didi, please go ahead. Namaste, Didi. G Namaste, please. Didi, when I look at my UHV journey, what I understand is that over a period of time, my attempt to receive happiness from physical facility, food, clothing, and so on has diminished. But Didi, I cannot claim that I am free from it. Very nice that you have been able to see that there cannot be a continuity with all what I have been assuming till now. Correct. You are trying to initiate that shift in yourself. Ji, Didi. Ji. Very nice. We all can see that this shift is a transition state, which will take definitely some time. But at least we have made that beginning. Chandra Shekhar sir wants to add something. Hi, Namaste, Vanchana Didi. Takriban che mein hoga aap se baat karke shukriya ijazat ke liye. Uh, 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 madam, the thing is that uh, when I try to depend on the external sources or external environment in search of happiness, I get into more of unhappiness than of happiness. My purpose is to be happy. But if I consider the uh, external stimuli or impact or the effect on this, then without my knowledge, I land up in un un unhappiness. So these cases I have found and uh, that's why uh, I feel and I honestly advocate the opinion that happiness is to uh, search within and it is a state of mind. It has nothing to do with the, any external environment. A very simple example I quote from a real life experience. Uh, there are occasions where I was very much tired and while waiting for my flight, I slept on the uh, visitors launch of the airport itself but there are cases where even on my foam bed also i could not get proper sleep so these things are both the cases it is more of a physical facility provided more of a comfort provided but i was not yearning for it i was very much disturbed so the happiness is a combination of the our psychological state of balance or imbalance and the how we manage the things, the, the so-called triggers what we have and to what extent we will manage in that we will try to get the happiness. So happiness at one point of time need not be the happiness at other point of time. So it is uh, purely depends on the uh, state of mind. So uh, that's what I wanted to put forth, ma'am. Very nice, sir. In fact, we all can see that any external source that we are looking up to for our happiness, there's no continuity. But let us see, we have taken our time. People are here over past one, one and a half year exploring for themselves. So within the class, we are putting forth this as a proposal to our students and they will also take it as a journey. So we need to put forth as a proposal to them, allowing them to explore. So within the class, there may be different questions that may come, right? That what, what's wrong in aiming for big house? What's wrong in aiming for money? Right? What's wrong in trying out for way one or way two? So we can just see that our students are also in process of exploring and we need to give them all that chance, all that so that they can also carry their own exploration, just like we have been doing it for ourselves. That is something which is important. We can just see the response which we have got. Often I try to make myself happy by external sources. So when you are very honestly agreeing to it, that yes, we are somehow engaging ourselves and trying to seek our happiness from external sources. Some neither agree nor disagree, some disagree. So it's our journey which we are doing for ourselves. So let's take up our discussion further. We have lots and lots of prevailing notions related to happiness. 
Now, looking at these prevailing notions, let's check out, do I have some of these prevailing notions? And it goes with my students too. They might have their own notions about happiness because they are 18, 19, they are coming up with their own set of preconditionings within. So what do you think? I will be bored of happiness if I'm always happy. How will I grow if I am always happy? Now, let us see if the students come up with this particular query, how would you like to put forth your own response to the students? Because these are some of the notions which each one of us might find somehow or the other to be stuck to. Right? So let us take the first prevailing notion. I will be bored of happiness if I am always happy. What do you think about it? Your own perspective. Any of our participants, would you like to take this? Do you think that you'll be bored of happiness? Can we take some responses from you? You can just raise your hand. Okay. Sadhan sir wanted to say something. Ji Sadhan sir. Ji Sadhan Yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. Uh, ma'am, uh, this is a prevalent notion as you have rightly pointed out. Uh, sometimes students may feel in that way that we are bored of happiness. But actually, if we ask a very, very sincere question to us, do I want to be unhappy? Now, this very question may come as one exploratory one, but it would explore clearly what is the inner voice, what is the self that actually wants. Self, if we observe very carefully that we don't want any moment when we need to feel unhappy. That means it's very clear that we always want to be happy. Means happy, to be happy in continuity. I think, ma'am, it will serve the purpose. The students will understand this. Okay. If I we see. ask that question directly, that okay. ask, you, you just take time and, and check. If you want any time you need or you think that you need to be unhappy or what happens if you feel unhappy right now, do you like to continue in that same state of unhappiness? Then the answer will come from the students only. Okay. Very nice, sir. Omesh sir also wants to add something to this. Omesh Tripathi ji. Omesh Tripathi ji. Or Professor Meena, Professor D.R. Meena, would you like to add something? Yes, madam. Ji, please. Nice to meet you, ma'am. After many a time, we are hearing your voice. So nice to hear. Uh, madam, here, uh, the happiness, what we understand is all that is developed from our uh, right understanding and understanding the situation and with a natural acceptance. This is something the mindset I would uh, really say. And uh, this type of happiness uh, is something like uh, where uh, we are calm or something our mindset is. And this should not uh, uh, make us hindered in our growth, I think, ma'am. This should really keep us calm. And because this uh, status we have attained through the right understanding and the natural acceptance, always are taken care here to get this or to go to the level of a happy. This would never make us uh, feel that uh, it should uh, stop us from our uh, further growth or uh, any other uh, activities, ma'am. Nice. In fact, if the student comes up with this query that I'll be bored of happiness if I'm always happy, let's ask it straightforward. What are you bored of? Some activity or the state of harmony? What do you think? Are we bored of some kind of an activity which we engage to ensure happiness or we are bored of our own state of harmony? What are we bored of? Now, if we are able to draw that attention that we get bored of the activity 
or the source which we have assumed is ensuring our happiness. Now then we are able to draw the attention of our student towards continuity of happiness, the state of harmony, which each one of us wants to ensure. So at any point of time, do you want to lose harmony within yourself? What do you think? Do we really want to lose harmony even for a single moment? Very nice. So if I don't want to lose that harmony within me, even for a single moment, I want happiness in continuity because this state of harmony is happiness. We have already discussed this happiness with our students. And now we are helping the student to explore further. So, very nice. Let's take up the other one. I will grow only if I am happy, if unhappy. If I am not unhappy, my growth will stop. Would someone like to give some reflection on this? Maybe Shantanu Basuji. You have the mic with you. Uh, actually, uh, ma'am, uh, good afternoon, ma'am. Uh, namaste, ma'am. Um, uh, regarding this, actually, I raised my hand because the last poll I could not have seen, uh, not came to my own that side, but still, uh, uh, so as regards this point, you are uh, means uh, want to explain from my side. Uh, yes, if I don't have the real meaning or right understanding of kind of the uh, what is happiness actually. So I uh, sometimes uh, being the actual one within me, I even uh, because I don't know the actual definition, so I may be unhappy and uh, always uh, means hankering for that happiness or whatever be the thing uh, means real work from that point of I may get deviated. So uh, I, in my belief, little one that I will strive and what I am uh, right now doing and uh, till my this end uh, to lifetime I have done whatever is. Oh, happiness, I don't know whatever it will come or not, but this uh, UHV one and the refresher one get me a lot of that thing. But I actually strive on my own work so that at least uh, means uh, some kind of feeling is there. Probably that feeling is that uh, me is okay and the other one is also okay. Might be that is also actually happiness and that's why I am growing. And if that growth is okay, so that uh, to students, family, everyone uh, nearest neighbors and everyone uh, i'm trying that maybe that is happiness and if that is not uh, happened so that is unhappiness and it is like uh, i think you wanted to means mean in short and so grow let us, let us let us hear from prabhagaranji also regarding this prabhagaranji would you like to mention something uh, good afternoon vancha madam and good afternoon to everyone uh, madam if any student asks us i will grow only if i am unhappy Yes, I do have a number of programs in which few of the programs I am not able to meet. And uh, because of that, I am unhappy. But I am not drifting to other program, leaving this program aside. So why this unhappiness occurred? I am going through that, the root cause, and trying to uh, fix the root cause for those uh, failures. And because of that, I become unhappy. And then again, I continue the program, same program, and uh, put my effort so that I am reaching the uh, my program is able to achieve the program, and hence I become happy. So it is not that uh, the un, uh, if I am unhappy, I am not. I cannot. Uh, I will grow only if I am unhappy. No, it is not that. Uh, the thing is, uh, whatever may be the result. Uh, whether it, uh, it is positive or negative, we must uh, uh, get the guidance from our self, uh, that is our uh, uh, natural acceptance, that is a uh, right understanding, we must refer to that and get the guidance from our own compass and then get the clarity whether it is uh, uh, achievable or not. So uh, with that, uh, I'll be uh, having at least to the extent of 50% or 75% happiness. But definitely I will not be unhappy. This is what I understood, madam. So let us, let us facilitate ourselves as well as our students to understand what is this growth means. We all want to grow. 
but is this growth only related to the physical world? Do we want to just accumulate more and more of physical facility? Will that suffice for us as human beings? In the previous session, we had this discussion that if we are only working for the physical facility, it is necessary and sufficient as far as considered for animals, but as a human being, can it suffice for me? Now, if I'm able to see the holistic view of growth and I work for that, right? will I be able to work when I am ensuring harmony within myself in a better way? Or if there is this disharmony within me, then I'll be able to work for myself, to work for my family, for society, for nature and existence. What do you think? So as long as our concept of growth is just limited to the physical facility, can we ensure our happiness and continuity? So we have to draw the attention towards what holistic growth will mean and continuity of happiness. And this way, we help the student to explore for himself. So the students may come with number of queries. If I am able to explore for myself, I'm ready to facilitate. I need to be unhappy to recognize that I am happy. Is it? Let's check out. Is there any moment when I want to be unhappy? Let's take our reference to the natural acceptance. What is naturally acceptable to us? To ensure happiness in continuity? Now, do I really need to recognize that with the help of unhappiness? And let's see, do we really need to understand the importance of health only after getting sick? What do you feel? When will we understand the importance of health? Only when we get sick or it is something which I want every time, every moment? What do you think? Gee, so, so many are saying that yes, it, we want health every moment. I don't have to be sick to understand the importance of health. Right? So with this, we all can explore for ourselves that do I really need to be unhappy to recognize that I'm happy? Right? We have so many preconditionings within us. Happiness and unhappiness goes hand in hand. They cannot be separated. Are we really verifying these preconditionings for ourselves? Let us take one more perspective from you. My happiness depends on others. What can I do about it? Now, if the student comes across with this, how would you like to help the student? My happiness depends on others, right? What can I do about it? So maybe Geeta ma'am would like to respond to this. Didi, namaste Didi. Ji, namaste Geeta ma'am. Uh, Didi, actually I raised hand for the previous statement Didi regarding health Didi. Ji, please go ahead. Didi, but sometimes Didi, when we fall sick, we know the importance of body, we know the importance of maintaining our health. Then how can we uh, justify such type of uh, comments from students Didi? Ji, so if I am sick, am I really happy about it? I am not happy Didi, but which I means, understand the worth of my body and health. But is it that only when I'm sick, I understand the worth of my body? Will that be right understanding within me? Okay, okay, Didi. Mm. At, so at that let, time, us, I'll... let us see. If we don't ensure this right understanding, we are just waiting to be unhealthy so that we can appreciate health. Mm. Do we want that? Is that something which is naturally acceptable to us? No, no. So, so this whole notion that 
I have to be unhappy and then only I'll be able to recognize the importance of happiness. This is one of the preconditionings which we are keeping for ourselves without verification. Mm -hmm. Are you able to see this? Yeah, yeah. Now I got it clear, Didi. Thank you, Didi. Very nice. So let us hear from Satya Sheila ji. Would you like to interact? My happiness depends on others. What can I do about it? Would you like to respond to this? Ji? Um, hello, ma'am. Uh, so actually I had raised my hand for the before thing. I will grow only if I'm happy. But uh, your answer was uh, very similar to what I felt. So may I just... Uh, uh, just talk about the second point, if you don't mind. Ji, please go ahead. Okay. So um, uh, when the student raises this question, will I will grow only if I'm happy? So this is very commonly asked from students. Um, as you said, actually, I wanted to ask, uh, or I would ask the student what his meaning of growth is, basically. Does it mean that he would like to bring about excellence in himself or herself or whether he believes that that will be some kind of prosperity or uh, a mental growth or some physical facility. So first we have to understand what the student thinks about growth because we are ourselves co-explorers. So first I would uh, have liked to ask what the student felt in terms of growth, what his opinion of growth is. So once they come out with their version of their growth, then we can actually throw a little light on this point. And another point I would have liked to ask the student, because this same question keeps coming to us also. So uh, do, do we get too used to if we are very happy, if we have a lot of uh, uh, things in life which make us happy? Again, the word things. So student will also say, if I have too many physical facilities, uh, will I be very uh, happy? And then I will not understand uh, the importance of happiness. So then we have to uh, try to understand what is the meaning of that. And uh, sometimes it happens that a lot of uh, the reason why we think in this way is due to our preconditioning. Uh, through movies or through uh, when we are young, we are told that uh, you should not always, uh, you know, uh, have all the things in life, then you will not be able to achieve more or try to be happy in life. So certain preconditioning preconditionings are there. So I think I would have liked to talk about the preconditionings and the meaning of growth there. If the student asks uh, such a question, um, that is what I had thought, ma'am. Nice, ma'am. In fact, till now, we have discussed about the three important things, the priorities. So we would try to help the student while answering, by focusing on the three things, right understanding, relationship, and the physical facility in the correct priority. order. And there is a reference to natural acceptance. So one thing as a mentor, which we have to take into consideration is that our student has only this much of a background. So we'll try to facilitate the student with all the background that is there with the student. So if we put forth some new terms, then probably it becomes difficult for the student or anyone, in fact, to follow. Over here, we all are together and we are aware of each and every term. So sometimes, we are taking that liberty of using the terms. But with students, we'll be slightly more careful and we'll try to facilitate the students with all what we have discussed up till now. That is still lecture number four. In fact, sometimes the students do come up with these, that happiness is a small thing. We have higher aspirations like contentment, peace, bliss, etc., etc. So let's check out. When we are looking at harmony within ourselves, Right? Harmony within ourselves, is it different from contentment? This harmony at each and every level of our being will include everything, contentment, peace, bliss. But if I'm not clear with what happiness is, if I'm relating this happiness to some temporary kind of an excitement, then of course it is a small thing. So we can just draw the attention, right? Towards the difference between excitement and happiness. 
whatever we have assumed till now as happiness is that what happiness is so some of the prevailing notions which we look around and find as our source of happiness is getting more and more of physical facilities so the student may ask what's the harm in accumulating more and more no harm can you ensure continuity there's no harm but let's check out this physical facility is definitely needed but will it alone suffice for us as human beings can you ensure continuity of your happiness by dependence on any physical facility what do you think can our dependence on any kind of source of happiness which is in the form of physical facility can there be continuity we took this example in the introductory workshop you might be sitting in a room which is hot so you require an ac so that the temperature becomes comfortable but what if the room already has an ac the temperature is ambient but someone enters the room and you have some contradictions clashes with the other person are you able to continue with your state of happiness with this that the ac is available what do you think so will physical facility only suffice for continuity of our happiness are you able to make that observation for yourself ji some of our participants are responding in the chat very nice so let us take the response from you and while you are responding to this poll let us hear from rupali ji what do you think rupali ji uh yeah didi uh i think if the physical facilities would have given us continuous happiness then the richest person in the world would have been the most happiest and you know continuously happiest so that is not so so neither having more physical facility gives you happiness nor having very less physical facility because very poor person also you know who is worried about his next dinner or whatsoever um, will not be happy so i think the right understanding <laughs> whether you are rich you are poor or you are having moderate physical facility right understanding of uh, you know your uh, positions or whatever uh, the physical facilities that you have will keep us uh, continuously happy i mean uh, not having that lip, uh, you know uh, that emotion of you know being looked at in anything like uh, i possess uh, gold let's say so i'm just thinking about my gold and you know i accumulate more gold and gold it's fine like i have mod, uh, moderate and it is fine i mean sometimes i wear it sometimes i will not wear it or whatsoever so you know having that thought towards physical facility uh, can be a right understanding that is what i feel so so let us look at this like this right i may have yeah. less or more how will i decide can i be able to decide more or less without right understanding no i will not be able to so what comes at a higher priority uh -huh. right i how will i estimate whether i, I have more or less exactly required for me uh, i should be able to decide how much is required so so that right assessment yeah. right that right yeah. assessment will only come with right understanding yes yes and this right understanding is something which i need to ensure for myself yes am i yes. really taking that effort in my own living or my all effort is going in just accumulating more and more believing that one day i'll have more than what i require mm. are we able to make that observation for ourselves that our happiness continuity of happiness doesn't have a dependence on the physical facility that continuity cannot be possible yes 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 very true very true Umesh, sir, would you like to say something? So we can see the response also from our participants. All of you have responded this that physical facility alone doesn't suffice for a human being. Very nice. Almost every one of us is agreeing to this that the continuity of our happiness is not possible with this. 
Similarly, looking at the sensation, right? Some kind of a favorable sensation, which I suppose as my source of happiness. So for example, some tasty food, right? Some, some, some kind of a smell, some kind of a touch, sound. Now let us check out whenever we have looked at for some kind of a happiness from some favorable sensation, can there be continuity? So the same rasgulla, which is a source of my happiness to begin with, if somebody starts forcing me to eat that rasgulla every moment, right? So instead of one or two, now I'm forced to eat hundreds of rasgullas. Are we able to see this transition from something which was tasty and necessary in the beginning, ultimately going to the limit of intolerable? Each one of us can do this little exercise. In fact, in the introductory workshop, this was a little exercise for you all to check out, right? Maybe our students might come up with this, that they're fond of watching movie or they are fond of looking into all kinds of social media. Now just ask them, just force yourself for 20 hours, 24 hours that you have to watch something continuously. Will that ensure happiness for you? Will there be content? So for each and every source, whatever I assume as a source of my happiness, I can see, can I ensure continuity or there is temporariness? Now that temporary happiness is an excitement. Getting attention, appreciation, favorable feelings from the others. Now when somebody is appreciating me, I may be doing n number of things to get that, maybe dressing up in a different way, agreeing to what the other is saying, even though I don't want to, just to seek the favorable feelings. Can I have continuity in this whole process? What do you think? I'll just lower all hands once so that we can take your response. And in the meanwhile, please answer to this reflection poll. So anyone who would like to reflect on this, can we have continuity? Ji, Nachiketa ji. Yes, Banchana uh, ji, we cannot have uh, this continuity. Any kind of favorable sensation, if it continues for some more time, then it will become hell for us. Suppose I will put the, the tastiest ice cream on my tongue, unless uh, if it will be kept on the tongue for few more time, then probably that will become hellish for me. So I don't think any favorable sensation will give a continuity of happiness. That is right, actually. Very true. We all can see that when our dependence is on someone else, then sometimes we may ensure happiness, which is actually temporary and thus excitement. And other times when the other is lacking that feeling, when the other is not able to provide that feeling, it is leading to unhappiness within me leading to the state of depression. So this is something which we all can observe for ourselves. In fact, I hope all of you have responded to this poll also. So we all can see that the pleasure from favorable sensation cannot be in continuity. And most of us do agree to this. Very nice. Now, what do we normally do when we want some kind of happiness or we want to get rid of this unhappiness within us. So let us check out what are we normally doing. Some kind of shifting from one mode to the other, maybe consuming some special food, overeating, right? Or consuming some kind of a drug or alcohol, maybe overeating, over sleeping. All this is something we are trying to do. And once we want to get rid of this, we are in this vicious loop. This vicious loop 
of moving from one to the other. So this excitement and escape, escape is when I want to run away from this unhappiness within me. So let us see, let us check out. If somebody is a smoker, when is he going to smoke more? When there is harmony within or when there is disharmony within? What do you think? What do you think about it? Subhashri Chaudhary ji is mentioning disharmony. Ji, so many are mentioning disharmony. We all can see that this running away from unhappiness, when the route which we are taking, is it actually leading to some kind of a permanent solution? So this overeating, this oversleeping, right? We try to run away from this unhappiness, but are we able to resolve that unhappiness within us? We look out for some kind of a temporary excitement. Again, that temporary excitement becomes intolerable. Then we take some kind of an escape route. And this is what is going more and more into this animal consciousness, where we are trying to seek happiness from some source outside, be it some physical facility, be it some favorable sensation from the other, some kind of attention, some kind of an appreciation. And if we are unable to seek that temporary excitement, we are in state of depression, the escape mode, where we are trying to run away from this by engaging in all this. Let us look at what is the source of happiness, which is innate which is this swatantrata within us. Any kind of sensation through the body or the physical facility will always be temporary. Any temporary happiness is equal to excitement. Are you able to make that observation for yourself? There is no completion point and continuity is not possible. When we seek attention from the others, when we seek feelings from the other, as long as we get the right feelings from the other, maybe we are able to ensure that feeling of happiness within us. But that is very much temporary. So that is excitement. In fact, we can just check when somebody is appreciating, when somebody is appreciating or paying attention to us at that point of time, Let's make that keen observation within ourselves. Do we see our heartbeat changing? Do we see the body showing some kind of a response which is indicating disharmony? Are you able to take a note of this? With that raised heartbeat, can we ensure harmony? What do you observe? Let us take your response to this poll and let us hear from you. Sangeeta ji, would you like to interact? Sangeeta Garbal ji. Sumati ji. Ji, namaste ji. Am I audible ji? Ji, please Sumati ma'am, go ahead. Yes, yes. Didi, namaste, sabhi ko namaste. Didi, uh, that, uh, yeah, can you say once again say the question, Didi? What I'm asking Because is, I raised the hand for... Ji, ji. Yes, Didi. Ji, the question is, can we have continuity of happiness by ensuring feelings from the other, by expecting feelings from the other? Uh, Yes, the, the, uh, uh, that uh, actually yeah, we have to be happy and also we have to make others also to be in happiness. So then we can expect others also to keep ourselves in the happy uh, position. Uh, so that uh, basically uh, depends, on, uh, depends on our attitude, baby. How we uh, expect from others, we we have to be in the similar manner. So then we can expect from others also. 
So, Sumati ji, let's check out. Do we really need to yes. expect or do we need to ensure these feelings for ourselves? Yes, baby. Ma'am, shall I answer? Ma'am, can I answer this question? Didi? Yes, yes, please, ma'am. Please go ahead. So, uh, can I answer? Didi, Sangeeta, ma'am. Please go ahead. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. मैम उस टाइम पोल आ गया था तो मैं आंसर नहीं कर पाई नमस्ते सभी को एक्चुअली इफ वी थिंक दैट आवर हैप्पीनेस इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन अदर्स एंड वी कैन नेवर बी हैप्पी बिकॉज इफ समी इफ वी थिंक दैट इफ दैट पर्सन इज हैप्पी विथ मी आई बी हैप्पी और इफ दैट पर्सन वुड रिस्पेक्ट मी आई बी हैप्पी आई थिंक हैप्पीनेस शुड नॉट बी डिपेंडेंट ऑन अदर एक्सटर्नल फैक्टर्स Right. So this happiness is something which is innate to me. Ah, uh, Parikshit Bhaiya, I just got disconnected. Can you share the PPT? I'm um, not, uh, you know, audible. Ji, ji, I, I. Ji. I'm trying to connect, Bhaiya, but uh, some disconnection has occurred. Am I audible, Bhaiya? Yes, ji, ji, you are audible to me. I think Sangita ji has some. Netog is a paras. The Sangita ji, are we able to reach to you, Sangita ma'am? Ah, uh, yes, 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 ji, yes. Ji, ji, one hundred. Continue. Ji, so just like Sangita Didi was mentioning, right? We were looking at the source of happiness, right? And this happiness is something which I want for myself. If my dependence is lying outside, can I ensure a continuity? We all can check that. Ji, Paya, I'll share. Paya, please allow me. I'll share the screen. Thank you, Bea. I just got disconnected. Sorry. So we all can see that this happiness is when I have the right feelings in me. These feelings of trust, respect, affection, something which is naturally acceptable to me. Care, guidance. When I am ensuring these feelings within me. i am self organized there's a possibility of continuity there's a definite completion point when i ensure right understanding within me which means i am able to ensure living in harmony at each and every level i am self organized this is happiness to ensure harmony at each and every level of me but when we look at the prevailing notions of happiness and prosperity we see lots and lots of assumptions so one of the assumptions related to prosperity is more and more accumulation of wealth what do you think the richer you are the more prosperous you are will that ensure this feeling of prosperity each one of us can explore it for yourself in fact we can just see if that has been the truth just now someone mentioned that the most richest people would have been the most prosperous ready to share it with others do we see that happening around ji very nice so this is something which we have been able to explore let us look at some of the questions which keep coming to us and let us seek responses from you so what if i am happy when i get a favorable sensation some kind of a tasty food some kind of a nice music what's wrong with it isn't it fine what if the student comes up with this query so let us take response from dr pratibha ji would you like to respond
प्रतिभा जी यू हैव द माइक जी यस मैम दीदी विद रिगार्ड्स टू दिस क्वेश्चन आई थिंक आई वुड आंसर सेइंग it is definitely fine having a favorable sensation but there is something beyond that because favorable sensation would only give us an excitement which is temporary uh, whereas the happiness that we have been discussing till now is a uh, much more continuous and much more stable harmony within oneself so uh, that is something which we all uh, need to work towards so this would be an answer from my end उटिंग very true in fact we can just draw the attention that do you yes. want happiness in continuity Continue. or or you are satisfied with this temporary happiness yes. so we can just draw that attention very nice sir then so, they will get the clarity about continuous happiness so in fact we can facilitate our students in this exploration that maybe eating a rasgulla you believe is ensuring your happiness but can that ensure continuity for you and if you want some continuity you have to understand so with this exploration we can facilitate each one of us very nice let us seek your response for the other one i feel happy getting the attention and love from my mother also from my friends what is the problem if i live like that so let us hear from gurleen sindhu ji would you like to interact with this ji Yes, ma'am. Um, I think uh, when we have to give an answer to this, it should be that uh, um, you know, once we do not get that attention, that should not make us unhappy. So this attention-seeking attitude uh, cannot provide us continuity in happiness. So basically, happiness is within. That is how I would like to answer this question. Okay. Okay. Nice. Gurleen ji, in fact, we can okay. see when somebody is giving us the right feelings, we feel good about it. We feel happy about it. But can we have a continuity in that? What if the other, at a certain moment, doesn't have that feelings? So, can I continue depending on the other, or do I want to be self-organized, self-reliant in that way? So that exploration will help each one of us to make that observation. very nice okay let us take another query from nirmala ji would you like to interact regarding this i personally don't want so many physical facilities but i want to make my family secure for the future right hence i need to keep working to ensure more and more physical facility yes exactly uh, physical facility is for uh, just survival and uh, to the next level but uh, continuous happiness uh, will come only uh, uh, when we are having a right understanding about each need uh, we are having in our life uh, then uh, students may also pose the same question that uh, physical facility is mandatory uh, to some extent only that level we have to explore within ourselves at what point it is enough and uh, uh, we need a right understanding thank you ma'am <coughs> nice so sometimes we have this assumption that maybe i have understood my needs but what about my family they want more and more of physical facility now let's check out whatever we may accumulate will they be able to ensure this feeling of prosperity if they don't understand what is happiness and prosperity for my own family members without yes. this right understanding will yes. they be able to ensure their own happiness and prosperity what do i want to ensure for my family members temporary happiness or a continuity of happiness and prosperity continuous happiness uh, and harmony we have to educate our uh, family members also the importance of uh, happiness and not only in accumulating the physical facility the border where we have to stop and uh, how to 
be continuously happy we have to impart the knowledge in the uh, family level also because we have studied in three levels self family uh, society and the nature all four levels we have to explore and uh, we have to educate the uh, members in the family also to bring uh, continuous happiness and uh, harmony very nice in fact we all can see are we creating these kind of avenues within our own family where we can have these discussions where we can discuss what happiness is what prosperity is so all this is facilitating us to explore when we carry out these discussions amongst the various family members shrinivasa rao sir wanted to say something yes ji namaste ji namaste sir so just now baby told that uh, we have to educate the family members and the people of the society i agree with that so <clears throat> whatever we are putting efforts in order to provide physical facility for our family members even if we spend some fraction of time in that in educating the uh, family members and people uh, that will be more beneficial for them Ji. true very nice we can just see whatever we accumulate unless and until we have this right understanding for ourselves we are unable to ensure continuity of our own happiness and prosperity the same goes with our family members too yes so right. let's check out what do we want for our family members ensuring right understanding living with human consciousness or accumulating more and more for them i think the time required and the efforts required for accumulation are much far uh, greater than this uh, realization bringing this realization this is the current scenario right you are mentioning the current scenario current scenario yes. but are we really happy about it are we able to reach the goal so we have to continuously put the efforts it is a long process continuous process even though the process is long are we initiating it to make a beginning right that's the first step yes, yes, yes. though we keep saying that it will take time mm. but the first are we taking the first step are we consistent are we regularly making efforts yes very nice thank you so with this we are towards the end of this sixth lecture if there is some self reflection we can hear till we move to the next lecture and we can just see the response also each one of us is able to explore that the accumulation of wealth is not prosperity for us so 